All right, we are doing uh, 3.6. We're on page 65. We are comparing expressions with exponents. Now, comparing, they want you to be using less than, greater than, or equal to signs. And remember, expressions is just an, equations, an equation with no equal sign. So uh, for our launch, they want us to use these numbers and this sign, negative, this number, and this sign, to make the least possible value and then to make the greatest possible value. So least possible value, we want our base number to go here. So we'll probably put our base number as two. Um, so that takes care of our two. A greater value, we should probably put our base number as three um, because two is greater than three. So that takes care of that one. Now it says we can only stick one number in each place and one negative in one place. So 2 to the third power is going to give us 9, but 2 to the negative third power, or excuse me, 8. 2 to the negative third power is going to give us 1 over 2 to the third, which equals 1 over 8. So that's pretty small. So over here, if we say negative 3 squared, that's going to give us a positive 9. Well, now let's compare those. We have 1 over 8 is less than positive 9. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today. We're using the same numbers, 2 and 3, and 2 and 3, and we are comparing how we can rearrange them and put them in different places um, to get them equivalent, less than, or greater than. So equivalent expressions are going to be 2 um, or more two or more, and I want you to write this, expressions um, that are equal. And I'll give you an example. So for example, um, the number 27. 27 is equal to 3 cubed. Um, it's also equal to 9 times 3 squared. It's also equal to um, 27 times 1. But when we look at it in exponents, let's take the um, x to the 12th power. x to the 12th power is equal to x to the 6th times x to the 6th. It's also equal to x to the 2nd and then that to the 6th. It's also equal to, if we take it one step further, x to the 24th over x to the 12th. So it could be equal to a bunch of different things. We're just comparing different equivalent expressions. All right, let's go to the first, got it, page 66. Which expressions are equivalent to 5 to the 8th? Well, this one here, we add our exponents, so that equals 5 to the 9th, so that's not. This one here we subtract, so 5 to the 16th minus 2 gives me 5 to the 14th. That one's not. This one here we add our exponents again, so we're going to get 5 to the 8th. This one is equivalent. This one we multiply our exponents, so we'll get 5 to the 8th. This one is also equivalent. So notice all the different ways you can write 5 to the 8th. 5 to the 8th can be 5 to the 6th times 5 to the 2nd and 5 to the second to the fourth, 5 squared to the fourth power. So they're all equivalent. So now for the U try, I want you to write this. I want you to write at least four expressions that are equivalent to 2 to the 13th. So pause here. I'll do the first one for you. So 2 to the 13th could equal 2, um, two to the fourth times 2 to the ninth. So there's one. Now pause here and see if you can come up with three more. All right, here's just some examples and you might have something different. So 2 to the 13th could be 2 to the 4th times 2 to the ninth, 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 8th, 2 to the 12th times 2, 2 to the 14th over 2, 2 to the 20th over 7, 2 to the 2 squared times 2 to the 11th, 2 cubed, times 2 to the 10th, anything like that, but you only needed 4, so if you have a question, please ask one of us if yours is true or not. 
All right, so now let's try the next got it. We're now on 66. So it says use less than, greater than, or equal to to complete the statement. 9 to the 12th. So we're basically going to be filling in this box right here. So 9 to the 12th. And this is actually equal to 9 to the 36th minus 3. So that's actually 9 to the 33rd. Well, now we can just compare our exponents, basically, which exponent is bigger. This one over here is. So we know that 9 to the 12th is less than 9 to the 33rd, or the 33. All right, so now you try go ahead and write this in. Example A, B, and C. Pause me here, write it, see if you can get the correct answer. Now you're filling in these boxes right here. All right, you should have gotten greater than for A, equal to for B, because 7 over 8 times 7, or divided by 7 to the 4th is 7 to the 4th. This one here is 1 over 4 to the 16th, and this one is 1 over 4 to the 10th, if you combine these two. Remember, if you have a larger number on, in your denominator of your fraction, that means your number is actually smaller. So um, this is less than. All right, so now go, please go over to page 67, and it's another got it. Use less than, greater than, or equal to to complete the statement. Well, this is similar to the other one, only if you notice, these do not have the same base. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to just write a note. Note, not the same base. Not the same base. So we can make them the same base. We know 27 is equivalent to 3 to the 3rd. And since we're raising 27 to the 5th power, this now becomes 3 to the 3rd all raised to the 5th. Now over here, 9 to the 8th. Well, we know 9 to the 8th is actually equivalent to 3 squared. 9 is equivalent to 3 squared. Then we take that to the 8th over 3 to the 4th. So now, let's see, we have over here 3 to the 15th, over here we have 3 to the 16th over 3 to the 4th, which actually equals, that's not 34, that's 3 to the 4th, which actually equals 3 to the 16 minus 4, which is 3 to the 12th. So which one is larger? We have to compare 3 to the 15th or 3 to the 12th. Well, in this one, we can just straight compare the exponents. We know 15 is larger than 12. All right, so below this, please try. Use these to complete each statement. And what you're going to do is you're going to change these bases so they're all the same. So in A, they'll all be 3. In B, they'll all be 2. Pause here. See if you can get it. All right, so you should have gotten over here 3 to the 18th is less than 3 to the 23rd. Over here, you should have gotten 2 to the 42nd power is greater than 2 to the 30th power. So if you need to know the work there, there it is. Oops. All right, so now please start your homework. It is 3.6 numbers 1 through 15 on digits.